Okay, let's try this again. I made one a couple days ago, but it was super windy. You couldn't hear half of what I was saying, so I'm going to try and talk a little louder this time. And It's not too windy today, plus uh, as soon as I started the video yesterday, it got cloudy, so we'll see how this one turns out. Up there in the distance area, those buildings, that's a Kentucky State Reformatory. State prison. This is just uh, northeast of Louisville, Kentucky. Okay, so anyway. Here's a Chevelle, 1970 SS396. It's had a complete body off frame restoration, nut and bolt, rotisserie, whatever you want to call it. I've got pictures of uh, over 700 pictures on a thumb drive. So, uh, the guy who did it lives up in northern Indiana, and uh, he said he took four years to, to do it. He's got uh, pictures of, you know, the, just the frame. He started with that and, uh, you know, sanded it down, painted it and all that. He's got the body, just the firewall back. And uh, so he replaced everything on it. The, uh, uh, the entire interior, the uh, all the glass, the vinyl top, he painted it. You know, everything's new. re the bumpers. And I uh, had the engine professionally rebuilt. Also the transmission, the rear end, uh, carburetor. So uh, it came with uh, Firestone bias ply tires on it. I took them off. They, uh, they look nice, but they drive like crap on the freeway. So I got some of these Goodrich radial TAs. So uh, it's, a, it's as clean underneath as it is. As it is on top. So I'll get some shots of underneath. It's got the black bucket seat interior. I would have preferred the four speed, but after I saw the job the guy did, got, you know, I was looking for a cranberry red one with a black vinyl top and black bucket seat, so. So it doesn't have a lot of options besides that. It doesn't have the cowl induction, and some guys want air conditioning and power windows, which I didn't want, but. Um, anyway, the guy said it was his eighth Chevelle that he'd restored. So, did a nice job on it. So after the video, I'll take it for a drive. So see, uh, you can see how it, how it runs. build sheet that verifies that it's an original SS built in Atlanta sold new Bill Hurd Chevrolet in Columbus Georgia about 100 miles south of Atlanta the guy uh, bought it in August of 70 right after he came back from Vietnam, according to what the seller told me. So, looks, uh, looks pretty good. You 
see the numbers on the firewall. The guy replicated the exact numbers that were, you know, on the firewall when it, when he got the car. So after he painted it, he put them back on again. So that's kind of cool. Okay.